Today we are in Gateshead, getting an update on the A167 Gateshead flyover. If you saw my video from December 2024, you'll remember that we took a closer look at the temporary propping system that was installed to stabilise the A167 Gateshead flyover. If you missed it, don't worry. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below so you can check it out. But today I'm back with another exciting update. There's a lot happening right now, and I've got some epic drone footage to show you what's been going on. Engineers have been hard at work this week to support the flyover to allow the temporary prop to be removed. What's going on with the flyover? Now let's talk about the current state of the flyover. As you can see, rainwater from the upper deck of the flyover is seeping through, causing cracks and deteriorating the concrete supporting pillars. This deterioration is what raised the initial concerns that the flyover could collapse which could put both motorists and pedestrians in danger. The impact of the A167 flyover closure, which once carried up to 40,000 vehicles every single day, has been closed to all traffic since December 2024. Now here we are in February 2025, and work continues to monitor and support the flyover so it does not become unstable. The reality is it will never reopen and is now set to be demolished. As of January 31st, 2025, the cost of the closure has already surpassed £1 million. This includes the costs involved in managing the closure, such as the temporary propping system, security fencing, vibration monitoring, and all the additional staff and contractors brought in to keep things safe. But the impact doesn't end there. Local businesses have been hit hard by the disruption, with many seeing a decrease in foot traffic and sales. For road users, it's been nothing but long delays and congestion. It's clear that the closure is affecting a lot of people in the area. So let's talk about what's been happening on the ground so far. Temporary propping. Engineers have successfully installed a temporary propping device to stabilise the flyover, which also allowed metro services to resume. Inspections and assessments are ongoing to ensure everything is safe and to plan for future actions. This week, Engineers have started work on encasing two central pillars under the flyover in concrete. This is a crucial step in removing the temporary props that have been in place since December. The process will take a few weeks though, because the concrete needs to cure. Colder temperatures may slow things down a bit. While this work is helping reinforce the flyover temporarily, it's important to note that the risks haven't been entirely eliminated. The council will continue to monitor the structure closely and the upper deck will not be reopening to traffic anytime soon. The goal is to remove the props by mid to late March, which will also allow for the reopening of the Sunderland Road Bus and Cycle Lane that runs below the flyover. This will be a welcome relief for pedestrians and cyclists who have been rerouted due to the closure. So, what's in store for the future of the flyover? After the concrete reinforcement is completed, Gateshead Council and their team of specialists will work on a plan to safely demolish the flyover. This is a huge project that will take time and effort, but it's necessary to ensure the area is safe for everyone. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the A167 flyover closure. How has it affected you? What do you think about the work being done? Drop a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and updates on this project. And that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an update and feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts or any questions. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.